What's up guys, Benny here, and today's other quick video, I don't know how many I'm going to make yet, this is the second video I've made, it's 6, 16 right now, so it's like one minute after I ended the last video that you guys probably, hopefully just watched. But, this video is going to be C2 versus the signature series, what are the differences and stuff like that. So the main difference, obviously, that you can see is, yeah, I'll just go over the small difference first, and then we'll talk about leather quality. So this is, C2s come with the patch, like this. So logo stitched onto the leather, logo on a patch. Um, C2s are going to have rough welting. You can request rough welting on a signature, but they're all going to come with rolled instead. Um, like, I mean rolled, like if you order it standard. With the... Signature series because the the higher leather quality you're gonna get more colors of leather like here's another C2 So you basically get I think C2 colors is like blonde black brown tan white maybe like red like maybe a couple other colors I'm not exactly sure I haven't um, Studied up on C2s much recently, but I'll try to put something in in the description Just explaining a little bit more about it, but here's some C2s still very high quality gloves especially for like hundred hundred forty nine dollars hundred that's what that's what we say on the cards that we give out. But so, signatures are about 185 right now. There's always sales. I think next one should be on Halloween. But let's go over the leather quality now. So, the obviously you guys already know about the signature series. It's really high quality Kip leather, Japanese Kip leather. Let me focus in a little more. Japanese Kip leather, super high quality. Here's the palm. It's amazing. Gotta flip this finger out a little bit. Um, but they got all these colors. You got reds, blues, greens, maroons, um, brown. Whoa, just brown. White. Uh, but, okay, there's basically a bunch of other colors that you don't have in. This is gonna be the next video right here. Amber dextrous. There's a bunch of other colors you don't have on this on the C2 series. So. Let's get into the C2 leather now, though. So the C2 leather um, is really the only main huge difference. They have, like, the same high-quality pro-stiff inserts, but the C2 leather is going to be a steer-hide leather, so it's going to be a little bit softer to the touch. This is super tight grain kip. The steer hide's a little bit, um, a little, a tiny bit rougher, in, in my opinion. It's, it still feels very comfortable. It has the cowhide liner. This has the... It has the sheepskin palm liner. So the, the the signature series has the sheepskin palm liner. This has the uh, the cowhide palm liner in it. It's still very comfortable. Leather's a little bit a tiny bit rougher, a little bit less like a little bit less tight grain, I'd say. It's still a high quality steer hide leather. So uh, comparable to around, I think a little bit bit, but I, my opinion, a little bit bit better than a GG Gamer. So. Full custom, definitely is still a good a good deal though. Here's some of the le here's the leather. It's gonna be a little bit quicker break in time just because the leather is a tiny bit softer, but still gonna take you about a week if a week or more if you wanna really break it in fully to be game ready. And then the leather is still gonna last you a, a long time. Like the signature series, I feel like this glove could last you like four to five to six years if you take care of it properly. This glove, if you use, if you get like a C2 and you're maybe like in middle school, I'd say you could use it up to the first couple years of high school if you wanted to. It's definitely still a very high quality glove. But that's the end of this very quick video. Next video is going to be on the ambidextrous. So, peace.